Hey everyone, welcome to this episode of the Gearblocks tutorial series. I'll be assuming that you've already watched the previous episodes, so if you haven't already, please check those out first. In this video, we'll have a look at attachments in more detail and use them to add moving parts to our constructions. So the first thing to talk about is attachment types. So I'm going to build a quick little construction here to demonstrate this. So we'll attach an axle to our part down here, something like that. And then we'll attach a beam to the top of the axle. So if I highlight this attachment, we've seen this before in the previous video. This is a fixed attachment. And if I unfreeze this, you can see that the beam and axle are attached rigidly together. Highlighting this attachment, you can see in the top left of the screen the available attachment types that we can cycle between. The attachment types that are available depend on the parts being attached together, but in this case we have a fixed attachment, a rotary bearing, a linear bearing, and a linear rotary bearing. So if I switch to a uh, rotary bearing by pressing E, unfreeze the construction, and you can see that the beam will spin on the axle. If I switch to the linear bearing, the beam will slide, but it won't rotate around the axle. And lastly, if I switch over to the uh, linear rotary bearing, again by pressing E, it'll now slide and rotate. We can put that back to the fixed attachment. The next thing to talk about is freeing locked attachments. But let me show you how it can happen that attachments can be locked. So I'll build another example here. Attach another axle to the top of this beam. And another beam to the axle. So if I cycle this attachment to a rotary bearing, we get a warning saying that it's not free to move and to check other attachments. And if I unfreeze this construction, you can see that the beam will not rotate around the axle. And this is because this beam and this beam here have been attached together by a fixed attachment because they were adjacent when we uh, aligned the parts together. So to fix this, we need to delete that attachment. And once we do that, the rotary bearing is free and you know, the parts will rotate. There's another way around this. We can have a look at the advanced attachment options. If you go into the Builder Tool UI and pick the uh, Advanced Options tab, you can see a list of the attachment types in the game. If you turn off an attachment here, it will not be considered for part alignment and attachments of that type won't be created when you attach parts together. So let me show you what I mean. If I disable fixed attachments, you can see that this beam will not attach to these other parts here. If I turn it back on, they will. Also notice that the uh, Builder Tool uh, screen here shows the currently enabled attachment types. So you can see if I turn them off, it's reflected in, in that uh, screen down there. So you can all see which ones are currently enabled. But if I have uh, the fixed attachments turned off for now, I can attach the beam to the axle and it will use the next available attachment type, which in this case is the rotary bearing. It won't create a fixed attachment between these two beams and the parts are free to rotate without having to bother deleting any attachments. So that's another way around the problem. But for now, let's uh, turn fixed attachments back on again. Next thing to talk about is deleting axle attachments or indeed deleting uh, attachments between any parts that are interpenetrating. So I'll create a, a simple frame here. And we'll attach an axle to these parts here. And 
Now this axle and this beam here are interpenetrating, but that's okay because they're attached with a fixed attachment. If I delete this attachment, this symbol will appear here and you can no longer unfreeze the construction. And that's because the parts are interpenetrating, but they're not attached together. To fix this, we need to delete the other attachment so that the parts become separated. And then we can reattach them again if we want to. Let's create another axle and attach it at the other end here. The last thing to look at is adding some rotating wheels. So we can do that. Spawn a wheel and we'll quickly duplicate a bunch of those and add them to our little trolley here. So if we unfreeze this, you can see that the wheels don't rotate. And that of course is because we need to switch the attachments to rotary bearings. And for wheels and axles, the two available types are fixed and rotary. So we can do that. We can cycle this over like that. And now if we unfreeze it, yeah, it'll rotate. Alternatively, we could have uh, left these as fixed attachments and instead switch the axle and beam attachments to rotary bearings like that, which is something we might want to do if we uh, are adding the motor and driving the axle, but we'll look at that more in future videos. But as you can see, that's another way to get it to roll around. So we can add a, a plate to our uh, trolley here. And that's it for this video. So um, next time we'll get into some more interesting stuff where we look at part behaviors and how to use motors and lights and things. But uh, that's it for now. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.